Hey everyone out there on YouTube, this is Chris with a company to be named later, coming to you with a new video today. So we're outside taking a walk around, you know, basically our world famous headquarters, or soon to be, and we started getting some thoughts. What happens if you're out in an urban environment like we are, and the shit hits the fan scenario happens, and you know, your wonderful little blade goes dull on you? Well, when we were taking our walk, we saw these pictures. I know, a bunch of bricks, right? Just just a bunch of bricks. But it got us thinking. We see lamp posts like this that kind of remind us of sharpening stones. Well, stay tuned. Right after this intro rolls, we're going to take a look at a very interesting idea that, you know, let's see if it works. Alrighty guys, so like I was saying outside, I had this thought about bricks. Now to be honest, I saw that big pile of bricks and I thought about grabbing a couple, but uh, for this video it's not worth grabbing a misdemeanor theft charge, you know? So went by Home Depot and picked up two bricks. There's one of them. There's the other that's been soaking in a water bath for a couple hours. Now what I did when I got one was decide which one I was going to use is basically the sander and the other one is going to be the one that's doing you know the sharpening that's that guy over there as you can see basically I started rubbing the two bricks together and you can see some of the stuff that's sanded off on this one to eliminate kind of the high points and the low points and kind of even it out after I got done with that I laid a piece of sandpaper down and kind of swirled it around what gave me the thought about bricks is because these guys are basically fired up clay <clears throat> when you're using other sharpeners, if they're not natural stones and, you know, they're synthetic, basically they're just like this. They're grit that's been pressed together, fired up, and pressed into an area that way you can sharpen a blade over. Now, I don't know, like the other Smiths thing I showed you outside, that's got about a 300 to 400 grit texture. I don't know what this is, but I guarantee you it's going to be a heck of a lot rougher than that. What I did after all that was done come over here and drop it in water now what I found funny is just like with Japanese water stones once you submerge it there's a whole bunch of air bubbles that come rushing out that's all the water saturating inside now we're gonna take a good look at can you actually sharpen a knife on a brick I saw one by Ricky over at perfection and he used a chef knife I saw another guy go into town and basically acting like an arrogant ass you know, there is no excuse for an unsharpened knife. You've got to do this. This is so simple. Well, we're going to take a good, honest look at this. So let me get some stuff set up, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So basically, as you can see, we got the brick out, and you can see that neat sheen of water that's over the top. We're going to be using water as our lubrication today. We've got our between 5 and, you know, $8 knife from Walmart. I know in one video I said it was 5 another video I said it was 8 it costs less than 10 but more than 5 so we're just going to say 8 from this point forward. Now the process is exactly the same as every other sharpening stone you have ever used in your life. Instead of standing the brick straight up and using a narrow end, we're going to use the very long rectangular end to give us more of a blade coverage area. I've got this thing as smooth as I can possibly get it to get rid of some ridges and bumps and everything else. That's just water there is no mineral spirits in there and let's let's start and see what we can get here find your angle and what struck me as funny is it sounds exactly can you hear that like every other sharpening stone
Hopefully I'm not blocking this too much. I don't know if you can see, but it's developing a small little slurry-like stuff like the Japanese water stones do. Now I've gone 10 one side, 10 the other side. Now we're going to do the alternating back and forth and we'll give it a little test. Sorry to make you watch all this, but unlike the last couple, I actually want you guys to see this because I'm really curious if this actually works. You see it's snagging a little bit in some of these bumps and crevices. I really can't prevent that because, well, it's a prick. It's not a perfectly well-made stone. It's just get this thing in the form of a rectangle. Let's get it together. Seriously, the two bricks cost me 44 cents a piece plus tax. For this experiment, it's under a buck. Let's see what we got. Because I'm kind of curious if I'll put any kind of an edge. Yeah, actually, there's a rough edge on there. It's not razor sharp, but it's like you would get on any other stone when you're going through. You know, your first pass and whatnot. I actually find that pretty interesting that a brick, things you make houses out of, well, old style houses and some old fashioned buildings. You can sharpen a blade on. And I can do a circular pattern like I have before. Let's find out. Where am I, can I go? Yes. The back and forth pattern. As you can see, I mean, it's rough, but there is a bit of an edge there. Okay, guys, so if any of you have tried this before and you, know, you have a better method, please put everything down below. You know, let's start a discussion about this because, well, like, you know, YouTube's there for. It's helped to educate, help learn, and help teach. I don't know if you have any questions, comments, put them down below in the comments section. If you like what you saw, please go ahead and hit that like button. Please like, share, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. I can't thank you guys enough for watching me with this little experiment today. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Keep checking back, and please remember, our 50 subscriber giveaway is still going on at this point. As of this video, when it's being shot, we're at 47. So when we hit 50, we're going to do that giveaway, and I'm going to put a video up later because I decided to expand it from that one axe. If you're watching this after the 50, don't worry. When we hit 100 and some other levels, we're going to do more giveaways. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.